With Halo 3's release on PC, it's bringing back a lot of classic Halo fans. And Halo 3 plays very different compared to all the other Halo games. So in this video, I'm going to give you the five tips to instantly improve at Halo 3. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our tips and tricks video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational kind of tips and trick kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and let's get right into the five instantly improving tips. Number one on this list, obviously since this game is a shooter, you guys probably want to learn how to shoot your gun. Well, this in Halo 3, there is a very kind of unique style of shooting in this game where the precision weapons like the pistol, the battle rifle especially, and other kind of weapons are projectile, meaning you have to lead your shots to have it land on the target, much like you would have in any battle royale game. Leading your shots is very prominent in 4v4 and also in 8v8 BTB game modes as well. And it's all about understanding the feel of the game and playing it enough to understand how much you need to lead. There isn't like an exact science behind it or exact tip I can give you on how to lead your shots. You just know you need to do it. Keep an eye on your bullet velocity and seeing the bullet tracers flying through the screen you can kind of get a chance to see how the bullets are flying across. It's kind of tough to see, but with the higher resolution in the PC version, you should be able to tell pretty easily. You can tell in a few clips here uh, exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to leading your shots. Here's a clip of me playing BTB on standoff. You can see I'm shooting outside of red reticle range and how much I'm actually leading my shots to make these shots count. And right here at the last shot, boom, got the kill right there. You can have visual confirmation how much you need to lead your shots with the shield flare of the character as well as the bullet tracers. You can kind of pick out they're very small, but they're definitely there. Here's another clip taken from the same game as well. You can see it within radical, radical range. I still have to lead your shots within the medium range. You'll find this range quite often, say even 44s as well. But you can see at the very end how much I needed to lead my shots to get that headshot to count to walk away with the kill. Number two on this list is one of the most important things to really improve your game. This will take you from like a 0.8 KD player to a 2 KD player. That's understanding the weapon spawns, especially the power weapons. Uh, each weapon in this game has its own spawn timer to it. Generally with like the rockets, it's a three minute timer. Generally with the sniper rifle, it's two minutes. Power ups, two minutes generally. Uh, obviously each map may have its own kind of variation. So one suggestion I give you is to jump into Forge, check out the weapon spawn times and understand how that works. Now the way the weapon spawns work in Halo 3 is that there are dynamic spawn, meaning that depending on when that weapon gets picked up or agitated, that's when the spawn timer starts off. It's not like Combat Evolved where you have a static spawn system where we know like every two minutes uh, rockets are spawning up right here. It's very much dependent on the players and how they interact with the game. So you have the advantage of knowing when those rockets are going to spawn up. That will give you the advantage to maybe win or even lose a match depending on how well you take advantage of it. In this clip right here you can see I'm walking over to the rocket launcher, I pick it up and then exactly three minutes later it drops again. Now there is an advanced trick of dirtying the weapon time spawns as well but that's an advanced tip mainly for the hardcore players. I'm focusing this mainly on your social experience and the majority of players. If you want me to focus more on the hardcore tips you know make sure to leave a like and I'll make sure to and leave it a comment below and I'll definitely make a video on that as well. Okay so we jumped into a custom game here guys. I want to show you three Three more tips on how to improve at Halo on PC, specifically Halo 3. So one tip is going to be strafing, then one button sensitivity, and also strong sighting. So we're going to start off with strafing tips. Uh, strafing is basically the left and right movement while you're in the middle of a gunfight, just doing this kind of motion. Now what the main thing you want to do is make this unpredictable because if you're just doing like big, wide, left and right strafes, it's going to be pretty easy for a player to compensate their aim to take you out. Even though it does make it easier, trust me it does. Uh, to evade bullets and make it f so you can do better in the game uh, but you also don't want to do just like little tiny like jiggles like this because this is basically me staying still like that's not very effective so what you want to do is kind of like mix it up a little bit like you can see how i'm doing like right here like i just it'll be kind of jerky motions on your left hand to do it but trust me it will definitely become much more beneficial for you to understand a good strafe pattern mix up i have a few techniques and mix in there as well uh, there is like the crouching ability you can do as well 
as uh, as well. But if you're moving at full speed, you can't crouch. You have to kind of time it just right to crouch in, though. I feel like in uh, Halo 3, it's not as useful as it is in Halo Reach to do a crouch strafe. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about here is sensitivity. Sensitivity is a very important question that I'm sure a lot of people get asked a lot about. What's the right sensitivity? What's the right button layout? Well, in Halo 3, I'm going to show you guys right here. So we go to settings, configure your gamepad under Halo 3. You have to use universal bump and jump. This is bumper jumper. Most of the people in Halo 3 became used to using this button layout in Halo 3. That's because you're able to jump and aim at the same time, as well as keep your melee on the bumper as well, which is obviously you know your grenades, melee, and shooting. You won't have to move your thumbs off your sticks, which is the most important thing. That's why a lot of people use bumper jumper when it comes to their layout. So I can just aim and jump and look around like this, no problem and also throw a melee in there as well. But I also keep my thumbs on the six the whole time. So that's why it's much better than default layout. I know some people use recon and maybe green thumb and some various other uh, popular alternatives, but you will find most people utilizing bumper jumper. And uh, also when it comes to different settings here, we're gonna scroll down. You probably want to turn on modern aiming. Uh, they recently brought this in, I believe last year, to the MCC. It's uh, just a way to kind of even out the curve of your sensitivity of your aim. Uh, previously, they used the classic model and it just didn't translate one to one very well. And so 343 updated the game with the modern aim controls. It's much more smoother, much more uh, easier to aim, like especially diagonally with your joysticks in the game or also just using use mouse and keyboard as well. I would highly suggest using modern aiming. It feels a lot better. I've seen a lot and much more improvement to my aim when using that and sensitivity ultimately this does come down to personal preference though most people you will see are running anywhere from about four to seven sensitivity when it comes to people playing it's okay to go down to three it's okay to go down to two it's okay to go up to ten it's up to your sensitivity preferences i like to run four and a half as i feel that's the best middle ground between being able to move around and look around as easily as i can while also maintaining good accuracy Look acceleration is five. A lot of people don't really mess around with this too much. Look acceleration is essentially the increased speed you, you take when it comes to going full speed when it comes to turning. As you can see, these are a bit of a, there's a bit of a wind up when it comes to getting to that max turnaround speed. So the higher your uh, acceleration is, the faster you'll reach this max turning speed like this. The lower that number, the slower the rotation is to get to that max speed. Uh, it can mainly affect your flick aiming if you're trying to like, you know, quickly flick your controller over to like hit a headshot over. That's where it kind of gets into effect for the most part right there. Uh, another really important ability you guys really want to know when it comes to uh, getting better at this game is the strong side maneuver. Especially in Halo 3, this maneuver is a very good maneuver. It's named after the former Halo Pro strong side who actually used to work at 343 as well. You probably see him doing some commentating for various matches. The strong side maneuver is essentially what you're doing is when maybe you're in a gunfight. Let's say we're going up in here into like green box area you kind of get a little over a little over aggressive you kind of start shooting here you see a guy down here start shooting then some guy pops up here surprises you you need to get away in the situation well a lot of times people will do is just kind of get up walk around like this and you know get around cover just fine yeah it works a lot of times but oftentimes uh what that does it leaves the back of your head exposed so what the strong side maneuver is is basically you know it does require some good map knowledge but say you're stuck down here you can jump, turn around, look back down to your ground, and then walk away. This is what we'll do, is make your head basically not visible to the person shooting from up here or down here, making it much harder to get that headshot, so it's a much better evasion tool to use in your arsenal of movements you can do in this game. Here's a clip from a game where I was playing earlier, an example of using the strong side. I go, I overstretch trying to get that kill. I get surprised by a guy going around the corner to shoot me. I look down to my feet, evade away, and I was able to live to fight another day. And trust me, with the way the bullet registration is in the MCC, it's a little less forgiving than it was on the 360. The way that people have to lead your shots in this game and also making it harder to hit those headshots by looking down on the ground. Trust me, the strong side maneuver is something you're really gonna wanna get down when it comes to you know, evading different situations in Halo. So those are the five tips that instantly improve in Halo 3. Halo 3 is a great game. It's really seen a really big boost in population recently. A lot of people are excited about this. I'm very excited about this. There's gonna be a triple XP the weekend of the 24th as well, guys, so keep an eye out for that. Also check out the link description down below for my Twitch channel. That's a chance for you guys to get to hop in and play some games with me and get to learn some tips and tricks on the way when it comes to playing Halo 3. So if you learned something today, make sure to tap that like button and so let's 
me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below if any of these tips helped you guys out as well if you're new to the channel make sure to tap subscribe and check out the videos on the screen over here if you missed any content from me recently got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so for halo so thank you so much for watching and greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out